That's on the quarterback in this system. First play from the 36 is a straight ahead run and Isaiah Bowser running hard for a gain of three. Wide receiver number 88, much like Parkinson on the other side. They're going to move him around this afternoon. He's on the far side of the field. Johnson rolls away from him, gets rid of it right before he takes a blow. And one on one to the bottom of the screen here against a very fast receiver in Kyrick McGowan. On third and seven, Johnson steps into the throw. Off hands and intercepted. Hunter, with a gunshot. Backed into his own end zone here. First down and ten. They hand it off to Bowser. Who runs for five on first down. Upping the relationships with his teammates. We're now part of the replacing of Clayton Thorson. His first completion goes to the outside and Riley Lees is pray and grow. Empty it out for him on third down and two. Scans the field. Throws incomplete with a cover. Play FBS football number 91 on the edge for Stanford. Here is Anderson again. Let me throw in the third down pass protector in Brown. Who comes in right here on third and five and a quarterback draw for Hunter Johnson, which is a pump two off of their hip. Well done. Well executed. First first down of the day. They run Johnson again. Right into the teeth of that Stanford defense, but he gets five. Run to aid that number game at the line of scrimmage. Back to the ground on second and five. Back to Bowser. who will make a third and shake. That's what they try to do. I don't think he got it. Next play, and he just kind of gulped and moved on. All right, Bruce. Northwestern begins the second half for the ball, and it's T.J. Green standing there, quarterback, and hitting Charlie Mann. But Yeah, the command, the tempo, the urgency, should all be in favor of the fifth-year senior. Here's Isaiah Bowser, his biggest run of the game. First down. Change that dynamic right here to begin the second half. First down from the 42. Green gets through his progression. Broken up by Paulson. A guy that grew up dreaming of coming to Stanford. Facing pressure on second down. Green to the sideline. Back shoulder for Jefferson, but no way to possess the football. Third down and 10. It's a screen. It's Jesse Brown. He gets the blocks that he needs and has a first down. Coordinator. And that was the third down conversion they had to have. Longest play of the day for the Cats. Now Bowser into the arms of Two Hill, but critical. Bowser again. Sticks the shoulder down and runs through two defense. From the 16 yard line. First drive of the second half for Northwestern. Back in Bowser's hands. Makes a cut. Makes another. Inside the five, and it's first. More elusive than a season ago. Bowser again, this time nothing doing. Andrew Pritz brings him down. Jesse Brown, who had that long reception, back in there running back. On second and goal, Green looking short side. Now dance around, and spin his way out of the first couple, but loses the football, and Kendall Williams. At Northwestern, Johnson one for four so far through the air. Get an opportunity here on first down. He'll check it down, it's too tall. Buddy, make a play. Jesse Brown joins him in the backfield here, takes it short side, not much room. Jovan Swan on a gain of one. Stanford rushes four, able to flush Johnson, keeps his eyes downfield, heaving one out of bounds, and he had no in ways it couldn't do very well a year ago. It's going to be Hunter Johnson moving forward. T.J. Green leaving the game with an injury. Bowser able to stiff arm the first man and get back to the line. Boys. One for six so far. Play action here. Skoranek open in the flats. Puts it on him. Adebo brings him down. They bring Jesse Brown into the backfield. Stanford rushes four. Johnson, long throw. Picked off by Adebo. That's a shot. That's a call the shot's right. He should be fighting for it. Johnson on first down. Gets through his progression, dumps it off incomplete. Pass and efficiency just has not been there for the Wildcats. Back-to-back -back pass plays. Johnson steps up and will take off. And Hunter Johnson. One of those guys said that dude can ball. If they're going to win this game, the Wildcats need him to ball. Throws back too high. But settle him down. I think some QB run is a good way to do it. Hands it off to Moten. Casey Tuhill with a tack up. Up the coordinator and a young QB out. Let him know the game management situations. Face and pressure. Here's part of that quarterback run game, and it works. And Johnson has a first down inside the 20. To the jaw. From Adebo and Parson. They roll him. He turns his shoulders, throws into tight. 
From the 15-yard line, first down and 10. Johnson to throw, goes to the sideline incomplete. And more aggressive team has been the one up by 10. Second and 10, he's well protected this time. All day to look around, but the coverage downfield sharp at first. Extends the play. Johnson cutting inside the 15. On third down and six, back to the ground, Jesse Brown, crunched by a Debo. It'll be, they're going to go for it on fourth and one. It is a quarterback lead play, Johnson. Second and goal. They look to throw, into the short side. There's room to run, and Johnson will, diving for the pylon. Couple of extra blockers inside for Northwestern. Downhill they come, Moten spinning his way. One young player to another is Hunter Johnson in his first game as Northwestern's quarterback. Heaves one downfield, Wentz Garonic, he adjusts, it's broken up. Pass interference call against Stanford this afternoon. On first down, in the quick game, Skoranek able to pluck it. For the field, you keep Skoranek away and take advantage of that matchup. To the ground this time, John Moten with a flag down. Moten has a first down, but there's a flag. The Stanford 40, it's second and 14, back at your own 46. Mills throws incomplete this time. They do travel with him, something they don't normally do. Quarterback draw, Casey Tuhill shuts it down. The fifth-year senior was waiting for him.